Hi, everybody. My name is Tim Schmidt. I'm currently taking a course uh, through Coursera on digital marketing at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. One of the assignments is to um, work on user-generated content and the idea of, of contributing to something such as Wikipedia. And I noticed that several people in the forum were having some trouble with uh, contributing, having getting some errors and stuff, so I thought I'd make a quick video on how to do a, a Wikipedia entry. Um, I know that uh, the professor had, had several as well, but I thought uh, this one might be, um, be helpful. So uh, here we go. So just uh, open up your favorite browser and head to Wikipedia. Make sure you put in the language that you prefer. Uh, in this case, I'm already logged in, but if you're not logged in, um, you would want to do that at this point. I do suggest creating a username rather than just contributing anonymously. Uh, if you're contributing to any kind of page with any popularity or any um, that's something that's an active topic that's being updated frequently uh, or anything of, of, uh, that's pretty serious in nature, y you want to have a, a, a user that's that you've created and verified an email and maybe filled out a little bit of your profile to add to that authenticity. So uh, it takes only takes a few minutes to do it. Um, so in this particular case, um, I'm going to just go ahead and show the example that I did for the, for the class assignment, and that was uh, I chose to update um, the high school that I went to, that particular page. I figured there'd be something in there that I could contribute to. I had noticed uh, under notable alumni um, that, uh, one, that I wasn't listed, uh, but I don't know that I really need to be in there, uh, but uh, there was a, a, an individual that was going through uh, school while I was there, and he was in some of my AP classes. And uh, he's now gone on to become a, a doctor of physics, and then he's the head of a department at the Ohio State University. Um, but he was like a child prodigy, I mean, literally a child prodigy. Uh, and his, he wasn't even listed, so I added this whole listing here. Um, and much of it was just you know searching for his name, and I was kind of surprised that he doesn't even have a Wikipedia page on him himself. So, uh, but. It's it's pretty remarkable. I mean, he's listed as one of the 30 smartest people in the world or, or alive today. So, um, nevertheless, uh, the way that I ad edited it was just to go up to Edit Page at the top. Uh, it should pull up the editor at that point, and uh, you can just go in and edit things. If for some reason, and this was happening to me originally, if for some reason your view looks like this, um, this is like the source editor view, and it's you know not it's not like a nice um, view that you might see in any kind of like, you know, Microsoft Word or anything like that. I think this is more of like a power user view um, for people that understand this language and stuff. But uh, if that's the case, make sure you're in this visual editor and it'll, you can then edit just like you do, you know, in any other kind of normal editor. So uh, just go down to whatever area you want. Uh, in this case, this is what I was doing and just type in uh, uh, um, the area I did. Now I won't save these changes because I don't want to list this, but uh, that's where you would do it. And then just hit save change. I do recommend using the citing tools, which are pretty helpful. Um, you can just you know go in here, 30 smartest people alive, and then click this to reference it. And then you can type in stuff, and it will search. Uh, you know, it it will search other um, Wikipedia pages, so you can link directly to it very quickly, or uh, you can actually uh, use the site button, and that will allow you to put a, a URL in, and it will automatically assign it a number, um, and then add it to the references section down below with uh, with a link that you can link through to. So that also helps, especially on a page where there's a lot of updates and things going on. Um, make sure you cite your uh, your entries. That's about it for this uh, this video. Quick walkthrough. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and good luck with the rest of the class.